An online petition has been started by a Manitoba woman in an effort to prevent Canada goose eggs from being destroyed in southwest Winnipeg. Marianne Curtis from Ile de Chaine says she started the petition when she heard about the effort to control the goose population by destroying eggs along Keniston Boulevard. More than 1,800 people have signed the petition so far. Volunteers with the Urban Goose Working Group are collecting the eggs in an effort to cut down on vehicle accidents related to the birds, such as when they walk into traffic. Early returns show a 48-year-old billionaire, Candy Tycoon, as the clear winner of Ukraine's presidential election. Petro Poroshenko has declared himself the winner with 54% of the vote, even though not all of the polls are in. The businessman supports strong ties with Europe, but also wants to mend fences with Russia. Poroshenko vows to put an end to war, chaos, crime and bring peace to the Ukrainian land. Selkirk Interlink MP James Bazan was in Ukraine to observe Sunday's election and says the voting went smoothly and for the most part was also peaceful. Bazan, a member of Canada's 350 member election observation team, describes Ukrainians as resilient and brave. He says voters turned out in substantial numbers across the country, even in the east where pro-Russian militants use strong arm tactics to try and stop people from casting ballots. Canadians are mourning the loss of a veteran journalist and broadcaster. Knowlton Nash died Saturday at the age of 86. He's best known for his role as anchor for CBC's The National from 1978 to 1988 and shared hosting duties with Peter Mansbridge until 1992. He became an officer of the Order of Canada in 1989. Nash was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2002. He spent his final years with his wife in Florida. Pope Francis is continuing his visit to the Holy Land. Today he prayed at Jerusalem's western wall, leaving a note in a crack in the wall. When St. John Paul II visited in 2000, he left a note asking for forgiveness for the suffering inflicted on Jews and Christians over history. Pope Benedict XVI's note prayed for peace for Christians, Muslims and Jews. Back at home, Craig Street Cats put on a two-day birthday bash this weekend to celebrate two years since they opened their adoption center on Madison Street. Patrons were treated to ice cream cake and hot dogs. They also held a kitten baby shower where people brought in gifts for the kittens, including food, formula, and other items to help them if they get sick. Executive Director Lynn Scott calls the two years they've been on Madison an adventure. Over the past two years, we've grown from a small local organization to a citywide organization caring for over 700 cats on a daily basis. As for the future, Scott says she hopes to have at least 500 cats adopted out this year. They had more than 300 adoptions last year. And next Sunday is their biggest fundraiser of the spring, the Whisker Walk for Craig Street Cats, which starts at 9 in the morning at the Ramada Viscount Gord Hotel by Polo Park. We'll have more news coming up at 7 o'clock. Right now we'll check in with Jenna.